Alright. We've almost made it to the last thing, and then this journey will be over. Oh gosh, more chat. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. What's this chat gotta say? My name is Cuffish, but I don't cuddle with fish. My only wish <laughs> is for a delicious dish. I'm still trying to do the wrapping. Hey oh. <laughs> then Marina joins in. Yo, what are you guys up to? Just workshop with some rhymes. The guy decides he wants to be a rapper. <laughs> Why does Captain Cuffish want to be a rapper? No fan of hip hop is a foe mine. I don't see genre. Stop saying that. Stop, stop it. Stop. Let's Hashtag Pearl's fake, genre. fake genre. This is one of Pearl's or this is one of Pearl's first raps before she knew anything about meter or rhythm. Hmm. How dare she I? rhymed me with me and night with night. Uh, hmm. Thanks. It's back when I first came over Marina. I met I met no one I was doing that. <laughs> you know, that that line only sold like a thousand copies to, oh. Apparently, this was a song that she had originally made. Ooh, let's hear it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's <laughs> this This is one. called Fucking Dudes Be Fucking Sleep. I thought we were going to the park, Sandy. Oh, wait, listen. <laughs> See? Listen for it. Listen. They refused to play it. I wonder why. I wonder why. Oh, that was a censor beep. Language, dear. Language. This song had a censor. Oh, so yeah, this was. This. Oh. Is oh, it... geez, her. Hmm? Her scream like destroyed the sound equipment. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this. So so the, and like people are like all like. Rah. So this was back. Oh yeah. Wait. Listen. Oh, looking. So the reviews of our first show had me worried. Yeah, they described me as the tall, exotic-looking girl next to Pearl. Yeah. And after the first show, Pearl's the few fans Pearl had kind of fell off. Ow. Oh, so yeah, so this was back. So this was back. Like that song we heard was back when Pearl was doing like, and I think their fourth single was Ebb and Flow, which is awesome. I love that song. Anyway, uh, oh, and here's them. Pardon me. Here's them with at a party with some Squid Sisters. Families. That's, that's yeah, sweet. Pop bottles yeah, by well, day, friends by night. Wish I could zoom in on them, but yeah. So sorry. Moving on is that um, yeah. Pearl again used to be like a heavy metal singer, and again that there as we just saw that was their. Um, also, she has that was their a lot of pipes. Also, it is yeah. confirmed. Oh wait, guys, look at this. Well, we already have an offer for Humpback Pump Track to do a commercial, but Pearl still needs to learn to ride without training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> granted, granted, right. I don't know how to ride a bike without training wheels. Didn't, didn't they confirm also your death to me, Yuki? Uh, didn't they... Sorry. What? <laughs> Just kidding. How's that my fault, man? <laughs> didn't they confirm? <laughs> didn't they confirm? What a fight? <clears throat> Alright, they... Yeah, put up. They confirmed somewhere. I forgot where, but they did confirm that, Two. um... One. Two. They, sorry, they did confirm that, uh, Marie was the one who talent scouted, uh, M Marie... Uh, Die! What, Pearl and Marina. And... Pro. Oh, nice. that didn't take long. Love it. Anyway, uh, but you know, uh, they mentioned in one of the chat logs that Marina was the one who, like... Marie. Marina was homeless. Oh, Mar sorry, Marine? I went... Yes. Nobody listened. Yes, there... Yeah, Marie was that's the right, one no, who yeah. talent scouted for Marina and Pearl. Right. Yes, that was right. To be the new hip-hop duo. That is correct. To be the new, like... And get good. New, like, representatives on the TV. To be fair, Spares Marine... Or... Marina... It, it's easy to make that I am mistake. so sorry. I got I got my lore... Ba I got oh, my yeah, lore it's confused going because... To, it's going to be the, uh... It's going to be the sea cycle. It's funny because Marina was the one who first told Pearl that she wanted to be in a band, and it was Marie who first said that they should, like, start the big, like... Pop star and be like the new. I feel like, like you're, what you're about, what you're trying to do, is gonna be wasteful if you don't do it on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Or There's... you know, you could just hack, uh, hack onto the spreaders. Also, also I like, also I love Tentacular Circus, but this song is pretty fun as well. Oh, I love this sound, uh, this musical little, track in particular. It's peppy and bouncy. It's militaristic, but at the same time very, I don't know, kitty, childish. Also, I love how those uh, knickknack uh, things are in the background. Uh, the neck neck pedal. Oh, yeah. Are the, yeah, it, no, no, it'll be a ball, oh my gosh, noise. the ball oh, oh yeah, the ball clappers. Yeah. Sorry. I have one of those. Sorry, every every time I hear knit neck paddywhack, all I could think of is that. Yeah, so the who's lines anyway, which we've already talked about, the two shoes Oops. McCarthy. So sorry. I forgot I was gonna say something. Um I am so lost right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Whose Lines Anyway. You should watch that show, Icky. Yeah, you really should. Yeah, Whose Lines a, Anyway. It's a pretty fun show. And honestly, I'm sorry, no, what? We gotta watch more. 
Yeah, we know. Yeah, I was about to say, like, after we show him whose line is it, we should also probably see if he'd get a kick out of green screen show as well, because I think he might appreciate some of the visuals they go with. I like the I think so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, Spreader, get over there. Wait, this is probably the most friendly spreader in the entire game, by the way, because the sprays are yeah. and not detergent. It's nice. It's yeah. nice. But yeah, basically, just to give you context, Nick, um, Green Screen Show is basically kind of like an offshoot of Whose Line Is It Anyway, like it's even voiced by, hosted by Drew Carey. The difference uh, is that, like, her. every <laughs> skit, they shoot in front of, well, they shoot in front of a green screen, and they outsource it to, like, various different animators to, like, pretty much animate all the visuals around them. And in one of their animations, they actually got a professional Disney animator to animate with them. Just give me a second. Yeah, I yeah. never thought to think of doing that. What? Literally just sidestep the griller. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just the flutter, not the griller. I don't think that either. The yeah, there you go. Just hop about it. And we're gone. And we did it. Anyone else think that those giant poles that you stick in the ground kind of look like giant pens? They are pens. I can see that, yeah. They're epi pens. No, you're literally signing the end of the stage saying that you finished it. And speaking second. of finish it... There, this is the last entry, and with this we will be able to get the final thing. Oh boy. And we just also, and, and this this line was not too long, so we also got... Oh, I guess, we're, I guess I was wrong. We're gonna get to see Ice of Padre one more time. Oh. Wait, oh. let me make sure I understand you right. You completed a whole series? Yes, I did. I, I completed Accident. Time. That's special. <laughs> uh, that's something else. I always wanted to see a full set. Uh, bring Fine. it to me. Now, I'll bitch. To you. Uh, <laughs> there. Well, the full set tells an interesting story, doesn't it? Hmm. It's a lot smaller than I expected. <laughs> One good turn deserves oh, yeah. oh, another. Wow. Try this on for a size when you reach the promised land. Holy crap, you're right. That thing. Oh, nice. We got the shades. Oh, God. I'm not going to lie. Crap, that right. little... that was... Keep challenging those test young squad. I'll leave your gifts with the elder squid. His name is Dog. And show me any more mem cakes you find. It's never a bother, I show you. I feel like another Doug day? is supposed to be a reference to something. It's the Guardians. Yeah, it's Thor. Another yeah. day, another Doug. Doug. Uh, hey, sup, girl. Hmm. So I went back to Incopolis to ice juice. There's a bunch of octolings. I'm sorry. So... I'm sorry. I can never, ever see Marina saying girl that way. I know. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's all the octolings. So this, I mean, the so this is... Now, like I do, now, I do think this was very smart. So the whole thing is that if you win... Octo expansion, you get to play as this Octoling. Spoilers. Mm -hmm. But, uh, also in the lore right, I don't think we were talking about this, but I love how to get back, I love how to get back to uh, Inkopolis. You have to imagine Inkopolis because you've never <laughs> actually been there as Agent 8. It's all so anyway, dying so the, green. So the, so the thing I love is that, let's say you had not started Octo expansion yet and you saw a bunch of Octolings. In the canon of your copy of the game, those were just Octolings that were present during the final battles Platoon 1. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are Marine. we going into, like, Alternate, Did, alternate timelines. Yes, alternate, that oh, you, the no. player, are always there. Are, the fact that I like that they had a canonical way to explain that there is only one Agent Eight, and the rest are just Octolings that were present during the big fight that Marina also witnessed in Splatoon One. At least it in makes your sense, copy, he yeah. shut up. Into the Splatoon verse. I won't give him credit for trying to cover their hides like that. It makes sense. Shut up. Let's get <laughs> the I'm last not, thing. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying I give them credit for you know thinking of it. The ceiling okay, thing. The last one. We can make it to the promised land. So uh, why is there why is there so the many? Why is there still only two parts left? Well, we got. We, they must have uh, had, like, because a long it's a long it's, it, it's a long train ride to get there. Yeah, See, get a long right there. Sequence it's gonna get a mini game. They're gonna have a. Any. They're gonna have a big. We're gonna we're gonna meet all of Sea Cucumber's what? family. There it is. You have found the final thing. Well, there it is. is. I am like totes impressed. I was not sure you had the uh, to pull it off. I will now oh. guide you to the promised land. Let us bounce to the outs. Okay, so he's I, gonna. Never heard that. So this. Hmm. Mm. Are you ready to visit I, the promised land? I wonder Return. what this is. This it? Thing Are you ready to assign to the higher plane? This is the last. This is our big. The promised land, land awaits. Are out. you ready to join something bigger than yourself? If you go that way, I'm at, okay. Congratulations, number ten thousand eight. The door to the promised land will now open. Uh, is it supposed to work like that? That was a screen. I yeah, that was a little... Yeah, I heard oh, that. Oh, God. Screen. 
scream. It's screaming. And um, admittedly, I was terrified the first time I saw the scene. Because that scream was, like, sudden, and... Well, my question is, who was screaming? It could have oh, been the telephone. Oh, cool. Please step it right inside. Here we go. Do not be shy. Home oh, sweet home, here we come. Nothing looks like it's supposed to uh, mince me, but whatever. Is, is it just me, or does that kind of look exactly like a blender? This is got serious. Ingredient yeah, acquisition complete. Reformatting matter. Yeah, and uh, we're going to learn about this later. This has happened and has succeeded for many other people. People have died here. Specifically, 10,007 times prior. In fact, it and is... we are going to die. It is actually... Oh, look! Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Agent 3! <gasps> Who's that? Agent 3! From Splatoon 1! By, by the way, it is actually... King. Uh, never mind. I know, it's canon. Anyway. That's not... No, I... You made it? Yeah, no idea what is going to say. Okay. Then we'll wait till the loading screen. Sweet, this dress even worked. Oh, she's out cold. Oh, no. She bumped her head. Ah, eh, she'll be fine. She's survived worse. She also has a cool cape now. For some reason. Hey, what's this? Oh, it kind of looks, like, kinda looks the same. Kind of looks like ours, except it's blue. It's an employee model, which will give us access to the behind the scenes realm. So we can get out of here ourselves manually without having to do this freaking, like, you know, stupid promise land BS. Huh, that's all we really needed. Star Wars looks like you may want to head up that hole that Agent 3 made. So, right here. No squids up behind. You're going in. So how long did it take you guys to figure out the twists in this? I mean, the second I saw Blender Blade, I was like, yeah. Anyway, go ahead, Matt. What did you learn that was confirmed? It's not confirmed, but it is theorized, and hopefully you'll listen. It is theorized that uh, that the screams we heard it from the from the telephone Phone. were the screams of the previous victims. Oh Jesus! Like recorded, fuck. like a recording. That would make yep. sense. So here we have a fun little twist. Is yeah, normally we get our weapons from those little like outfitting pods before we enter a stage, Sealy. So without them. We have no weapons to defend ourselves. We are totally this is, we are totally we, naked. Which yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome back Go to ahead, Metal to Metal Gear Splatoon. <laughs> Metal yeah, Gear. This Squid. is actually this is straight up an actual stealth section where I was you gonna actually say be, what's what you, makes this different. You have to be soup because because yeah, if they sh I have no way to defend myself hey, and as, as long as it's not the self section in Katana Zero, I will be happy. I don't care. And as you see it's another game. And you also have to be careful because, as you've seen, is in multiplayer, again, stuff like this teaches you multiplayer. If you move too fast, people will see their, their spl the splashes you make in the ink. But so it's yeah. much harder also, to notice in multiplayer. Also, guys, yeah, best part, kind of you don't have to worry about the bombs! Except you kind of do. What? Oh. Yeah, oh. if they notice you, they'll charge That's... right at you and explode upon you. That's nope. Speak of the devil. Just not, like that. Eh, he's, that is eh, he saw me, but whatever. those bombs, the airbag bombs from Sea Cucumber. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Sea Cucumber doesn't stop us anymore. Yeah, Sea Cucumber, as far as we're concerned, is pretty much, well, irrelevant. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, this geez. is all about trying to Guys escape from sanitized octarians. Come in, Agent A. Yeah, they'll do Salt Snake. Snake! Right? Snake! Squid! Snake! And yeah, as you see, you have there, and, as, and as you see, there are spawn points. So even though there's only two, if I get caught, everyone will just show up. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, and again, to have this game be sort of easy in case you can't beat your first time, they do have the ability to just skip these phases to the final battle. Yeah. I'm glad that like if it's you not really like, don't want to deal with this. I'm glad that it's not like a cell section where it stops if you're immediately spotted. No, you're yeah, allowed yeah, a chance you, to escape. Oh, you mean it's just your, that. You mean European extreme mode in Metal Gear Solid 2? Yes, but no, it is pot. Yeah, no. Oh, I was just, actually it referring is... to. For, I was actually referring to Forsaken Fortress first time in one year. That not, too. Please. I'm, so sick, way, of, I'm oh. so sick of remembering that place. Either way, yes. No, if I get caught, if I, I, I it is possible for me to escape, but like, very, <laughs> very hard. Screw it, I'm looking at Metal Gear Solid 2 quotes. No. How's it go? <laughs> yes. Oh, by the way, how's it going over there, old man? What? Agent 8. I need, need Agent 3. I need Scissor 69. No, 
that weapon. This is a toughie. Ugh. Well, I'll him a faint weapon signature. Godspeed. So hopefully we'll get our... Uh... Damn it, I can't find anything pertinent. Just look up anything Mine. after the uh, the colonel's AI just goes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was close. Uh, uh, Agent Eight, turn the game console off now. <gasps> yes, that is actually something that happens in the game. Don't yeah. worry, Marina. I have successfully managed to avoid drowning. I fucking love that. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Almost out. We. We managed to avoid drowning. Wee! Wee! <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait. I mean, the octoline. I mean, the octo. The octoline's octopus form is cute enough. They are. Oh, it looks like they have a mustache. It does. Yeah, it really does. Come All right, here I'm we go. Open. Next phase. All right. Stealth has been achieved. It's time for us to hopefully get our next weapon over here. Agent Eight, the there's something element. I've been What's meaning right? to tell you. <laughs> Oh, listen! Oh, we got music. Yep, this is one of uh, Off the Hook's new signal singles, and this was the original song we heard that that advertised this whole thing. Nasty Majesty. Love it. And that, and they'll explain that. Uh, I think they're going to explain that the cool thing is that they are um, they're broadcasting their music because they're just you know on the wavelength. Mm -hmm. So. That must mean that we're getting closer to the surface now that our speakers can pick it up. But that begs the question, just how far down are we? Way down. I always thought like a couple miles. We talking about bottom weapon. downtown. Like I said, we're pretty much we're pretty much below the below the least of the ocean that any mere human can survive in. That is true, yeah. Yeah, but it's a good thing we're not human, we're just Well right. that's why that's that's why I say we're pretty much on the, in the darker depths, which we that were probably, as far as we're concerned, undiscovered. It's only so, around those, like those new books commercials. Yeah. So what do you think of all this going on right now, Seely? This like <laughs> advanced. Uh, That's like this what I think. Yeah, this advanced. <laughs> I have armor, but yeah, no, this advanced, uh, like these like advanced single player state. I I like. I mean, as much as I like multiplayer games, all the Call of Duty stuff, I do like something that has a solid single player campaign as well. Yeah, agreed. Hey, shoot this. It's a weak box. Shoot this, you oh, dummy. Oh, okay. Whatever you say, boss. Close enough. Ah, okay. And now and we got our bombs bombs. back. But we and don't got no guns. Gun. I know. We're gonna oh, we're just going to have to settle with do. bombs first. Dang. Blah, blah. Go home. Huh, no response. Okay. There we go. It's a little... I would say it's a kind of a little... Okay, we got to time this right. So how long did it take you guys to complete this mode your first time? Uh, or at least this section of the game. Oh, this section not too bad. I forgot 100 how... the game. Go ahead. I forgot how long it took for me. I mean, maybe oh, sure. I I want to say it look took roughly maybe a half hour or so. Uh, I mean, you guys can probably vouch for me considering you were there when I was doing this. That one phase. That one phase where you have to, I'm not going to say how, but that one phase where you have to uh, guide and like, do mission. like an escort thing, that one took me a bit just because of how, like, and you'll see how. I mean, how dude, bad everybody operator. complains about the Alchemist mission in Spyro 2. Yes. Wait, which one? Why couldn't he just gone to the right? Personally, I just waited oh, until I got the head bash maneuver before I even try it. Okay. That went way off. Ow. Oh. Ugh. Hang on, I need more. Complete like... whiff. No, you, well, don't don't need the lie. you don't need the lie in the game to get more people. Oh. Yeah. Well, it, 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 it's, fa it's, there we go. Oh, it's faster. Yeah. So the Octo Shot is like a normal Splat Shot, except it's a bit, it has a little less accuracy. It kind of like sprays everywhere. It's literally just the recolor so, of the uh, so Splat Shot Junior, I think. So it's a weapon controlled by Gage from Borderlands 2. Pretty much. Ah, there we go. Ooh. But. There we go. Uh, that's nothing. Anyway, so with that said, almost out of here, but yeah, that is the, um, I also like listening to all the, just this whole, the soundtrack, the game, it had so many, ow, ow, that hurt. There was a, there's so much, like, fun stuff that this whole, all the will building, all this music, I love this game in the series. Agreed. It builds up to something bigger than what you were initially, you know, thinking of. Oh, heck yeah. And now right. on to the third level. 
Yep, uh, this one's going to be kind of a big one. We need to uh, find an energy source so that we can power an elevator to get out of here. And, and, the belly. and unfortunately, we've pretty much come to the water tank. Oh, this part sucks. <laughs> yeah. All those guttural all... acidic juices right below us. That's all sanitized liquid, and those are sanitized octolings in these boxes being used for the tests down below. Mm -hmm. They're being and, produced uh... en masse. Oh, and the, and the cool thing is that uh, you'll learn later why we're dealing with all these levels named after, like, anatomy and stuff. Mm -hmm. and more on that later. Okay. I like Nasty Majesty. It's a, it's I mean, admittedly, I thought it was, like, uh, a play on the Belly of the Beast concept. Right. Well, then play on only board. if you knew. I just saw something. Only... Go ahead. Uh, here's something interesting that I... Here's something I find interesting. For some reason, we can spray on those, uh, we can spray on the, uh, containers to go across them, right? Yeah. Yeah. They were made of glass. How are we able to spray them? Because it's pretty Lexi much glass. It's pretty Game much glass? established. Uh, I know, but I was, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say blah, 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 I agree with you. It's normally not glass. Maybe... Plexiglass? Maybe it's plastic? Maybe. They would be like Tupperware. I know, it's like anything that had a clear surface, we could not... Yeah, see? Anything that has a clear surface, we could not uh, spray, except for these Kind things. of a... Well, then again, yeah, they're not very opaque. transparent. Or translucent. It's more opaque, yeah. Like, Easy you can only like, barely see what's inside them. Like, some of them, I think, actually contain, like, bits of kelp, for some reason. No, no, those are sanitized octolings. No, 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 I understand that it's primarily uh, sanitized octos, but... Hmm. So, yeah, and we're gonna learn all about why these things have uh, been trying to grab octolings, but I guess the idea is that that's how this whole, this whole like, corporate, like, building has been supplying itself, is because this whole place is deep underground. This is underneath Octo Valley, technically, some of this stuff. Welcome to Resident Evil. That's how, uh... President Nocto. Yeah, yeah comma, um, oh shoot. Population, oh, you. Oh, this ain't looking good. <laughs> I just, I just waited, I just waited until another, uh, platform came by, but yeah, I mean, Kamabo is basically Umbrella will learn later, which I don't know if the, I don't know if the original doctor who led to the creation of Judd and thus the creation of, you know, a lot of Inkling culture knew about all this, but, I, you yeah. know, I mean, uh, he just didn't Inklings know, came, he, he didn't he, understand how far it went. Inklings came about of evolution, though, right? Not uh, any. It wasn't like some experiment. I believe it was evolution. Right. Okay. Um, we'll go into Just... depth either later in this part or in the next part, but yeah, the next part. Probably. It's not exactly explicit, is what I'm trying to say. Right. The second scrolls kind of talk about, it, and who knows? Maybe we'll get even more one day in a Splatoon three. But God, I hate these guys. Stop. Give it about five. Give it about three more years. I honestly don't know what to expect for a Splatoon 3 storyline. Yeah. Well, did you guys already already imagine like they would probably expand more on the um the salmonid? Did we? Yeah, probably. Yeah, basically Octolings and uh, Inklings team. We want Octolings and Inklings to team together to stop not just Octolings but also Octarians to stop the salmonids. I mean, they are technically Ragnarok, so it only makes sense. But with that said. Mm -hmm. Well, yep, all so. the, all that will be all that will be answered eventually. But in the meantime, stay tuned for the finale. Bye. I'm Bye, expecting guys. a bird apocalypse. <laughs>